Guys who are currently watching a clip from our podcast, The Fellas, the full podcast is available exclusively on Spotify with video for free. So go ahead and follow us on Spotify. It actually helps us out more than you could imagine. So obviously they test you on fight day and stuff and like trying to have a piss when you're nervous. Well, it can go one of two ways with me. Like yeah. I'm either pissing all the time because uh-huh. I'm nervous or I'm too nervous that to piss. Like I'm nervous as hell for my fight and then you get like an old guy trying to watch you. It's like, oh. Howler if you have stage fright, by the way. Yeah. Jesus just, just stood there like, well, fucking hurry up then. Yeah. Yeah, and that, you're there like, I'm yeah, trying. That, that's what it's like. Oh, no, that's what it's, what it's, it's just not, it's not a fun experience. <laughs> they, they, I, they must have some serious stories. Shit, man. I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know it was like that either. They, they were saying like on one of them uh, that they tried to get like a pre-fight piss test. They couldn't piss and, oh, and then they fought and then they had to like, couldn't piss after the fight and then they had to do press conference. Couldn't piss after that. The thing is when you're full of adrenaline, it's difficult to piss as well. Yeah. Um, and then like the, the guy ended up coming to the after party with, with the guy you fought and getting a piss test there like six wow. hours later. Okay, now That's just in a, just in a club, it? right? Can we do it yet, yeah, mate? Yeah. Right, now's the time. <laughs> I can, yeah, I can but, imagine. So the uh, day after the fight, this is obviously this must be a stupid question, but how how battered are you? Adrenaline's gone. You've probably been a little bit of a bender. Like, is that like the big day? Uh, you feel sore out. then. Done you start out. feeling sore. Yeah, like um, to be honest, you don't really feel too much in the fight. You feel like little bangs and stuff, but mm. then. Even like the night of, I'm usually all right. I don't usually sleep. I usually just stay up because I'm yeah. full of adrenaline. And it's still going a little bit. Yeah. Right? And then usually I drink that night. And then when the hangover hits and the adrenaline goes, it That's what I was thinking. Back. The combination yeah. of both. Adrenaline's gone. And no you've sleep. Got a fat hangover. You've been up till 4 a.m. You wake up Absolutely in a hotel no or whatever. Yeah. I, last time, I would have actually just spoke to the USC staff there. And I was like, look, next time I'm not, because I got the train back last time. And yeah. when I got the train back, it was just full of like UFC oh, fans France. coming back. Oh, and, uh, no. I was like hungover train. as hell. I'd not slept at all. Like literally didn't sleep. Um, I was just like mad hungover. I had like an adrenaline hangover as well. And yeah. like people were coming over asking for pictures. I was just like, I can't do any more pictures. Please, Please yeah. just leave me alone. <laughs> just yeah. Yeah. yeah, awkward one. That, yeah, that mental. I mean, uh, uh, one story that we heard is that you you mentioned obviously you were um, friends with Tommy but also worked with Tyson Fury yeah. as well what was that like? Uh, I know the whole family I've known the whole family a long time oh. so um, I know the dad I know all Tyson's brothers his cousin yeah. Hughie his uncle Peter like good people like they're such good people like such down to earth like solid like salt of the earth people they're just dead easy going and yeah. just good people mate you know what I mean they're just like they don't think the superstars, even though yeah. Tyson's like a mega star now, he's just everyday guy, really. Yeah, I mean, I saw a story about him, like he sold his like, Rolls Royce and just got like a Volvo. I think I saw something like that. And he got Fair this Volvo play. estate and I was there like, you know what? If I had the money to have the Rolls Royce, <laughs> I, I thought I still wouldn't do that. <laughs> There's no way. But what did he, did, he, did he help like in terms of like training wise? Did, did, he, did the family at all like did come in and... And help you out with boxing? Yeah, or? I mean, I was, well, I trained with them when yeah. I was boxing. Um, so I'd see them every day, but it wasn't so much, obviously they taught me boxing techniques yeah. and stuff, but I used to take like the fighting really serious. And obviously it's something that you do have to take serious, but it was like, if I would fuck something up in like a training session or a fight, like it would, I'd get too serious and try and start forcing it all the time. And you know, yeah. when you're forcing something, it's less likely to work. Um, and they just, the, they just made me see it for what it was and it's just a sport and that's the way I just see it. Since I was training with them, it's just like completely changed my mindset and I just take it for what it is. It's just a sport. So it was more of like a mindset Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, rather but than like the, genuine. Your mind controls everything though when it comes to fighting. Like, I think it's like 90% of fighting is in your mind. Just in the mind, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's certainly, I mean, I think, I think to be honest with you, I think that's probably with a lot of things. Like Definitely. just your, just your confidence in general. You know, if you're confident doing something, it's, it, it, really just controls how how well you do it at, at that thing i mean i know there's there's loads of sports in with that i mean you see it across whether it be footballers golfers as well it's like having that confidence to know that if, like, you, if you're going to take this shot or whatever it is flow state right like that thing they call flow state where when you're in it and you're going and you're not thinking about it you'll perform yeah. like 10 times better than you would usually I, I know a, i know a darts player and he was telling me about something i can't remember what they call it but apparently darts players like hit the wall mentally and they can't friggin like hit the <laughs> Hit what they want, hit to, what they want to hit anymore. Like, Dartitis, it's called. Dart, 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 that's the one, yeah. yeah. Dartitis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. not I'm a real one. No, it is, it is. I Googled yeah. it and everything. They're just like, 
can't hit the what well, they want to hit anymore. Like they'll be hitting it for years and years. Yeah. And then they'll just get a point and they just like can't hit wow. it anymore. It's bizarre. It's like a complete block off. Yeah, yeah. Like they'll be going for the 20 and they'll get like the opposite Way side off. of the board. Yeah, it's bizarre. Fuck. Do you, do, do you have any pre, pre-fight rituals that help you sort of like lock into things? No, mate. I just try and enjoy it. Yeah. That, that, my main focus when I'm fighting is enjoying it because I tried my best in the training. Like I said before, you, you have to kind of accept the fact. I'm, I might get knocked out here in front of millions of people mm-hmm. and that's what you sign up for. So, well, you don't sign up for that, but you sign <laughs> yeah, up yeah, with, yeah. with it's part, knowing. It's part of the yeah, package, yeah. right? It's like driving a car. You, you know that like, there's a chance of crashing the car when you're mm-hmm. driving it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so it's just like that. Yeah, just try and... No superstitions? Mm, not really. Not really. I got like a shower. Like every night before before bed, I got my shower. Like there's, there's a way that I shower. Yeah, I know you and mean. I can't, I can't for, change for that. For what though? No, 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 no. It's just, it's just, just for, life. For, for the next day to be a good day. I'm not joking. So do you have to shower before bed every night? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's whether like before bed, uh, the morning of, whatever. I, it just... When I shower, it has to be done this way. Mm. Well, you don't have any like shoelaces done a certain Renal- way. Ronaldo's got one. He's, he has to step on the foot, uh, the pitch with what is it? One, f- it's one of the, like it has to be the left foot first. Oh, okay. And mm. he, even if he gets close and it's going to be the right, he'll skip. It's funny. I try not to do that kind of stuff because if you miss it out one time, it'll yeah. start it. mentally. Yeah, fucking I try not yeah. to. After the fight, I just like, try and. I fucking did my that. main thing is just try and enjoy it. Yeah. Like you have a little warm up routine that I do. I, I've done it every time of. Uh, I've mastered it now. What I need to do to warm up and stuff, and nightmare if there's three drains in a row as you're walking into the octagon. Oh, what the can you do? Don't I've got to jump the three drains. drains. Yeah. Or there's a signpost. I can't, I can't go underneath that signpost, boss. We're gonna have to find a different way to get to the octagon. No, nah, you, you got you're going to a good mindset. Then just enjoy it. I try I like to that. because the worst that can happen is you're gonna get knocked out in front of a million people. Yeah. The Fuck world it. will hopefully keep turning the next well, day. If you train as hard it. as possible, then you do. That's what it. You I can just do. give my best. I give my best in training. Yeah. And I, I try my best in the fight. And what more can you do? You can't Fuck do it, man. You can't do no more than you Fuck best. it. Yeah. As long as send you it, as, let's as, just send it. As long as you don't come out of the and going, I could have trained harder yeah. then. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's I, when you fucked I am it, like it, mad right? O C D and obsessed with obtr- with training. So mm. I will yeah. never like leave no stone unturned in training. I do everything I can. And that is that is your day to day routine right now, it's just well, besides today, because it's... So yeah, mate, for the next... Uh, so I've got like... So now I'm really starting training camp maybe from next week. I'm I'm training hard at the moment, but it'll be like twice a day, every day, three times a day, some days of just Jesus. hard work. Like I say, getting punched and kicked and wrestled is one thing. Getting punched and kicked and wrestled and thrown on the floor and picked back up when you're absolutely exhausted yeah. five weeks in with three weeks left. That's, that's not great. that fun. Honestly, it's really yeah. not that fun. He's a food shite. Uh, well, I'm a heavyweight, so I can eat what I want. Oh, that's yeah. true. But I do have a good diet. Like I, I really, I used to be a right fat bastard when I first started out in the UFC and uh, started being a bit more professional and like looking after my diet, got in good shape and stuff. Do so, you have someone that looks after? Yes, yeah, so I got a nutritionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's one of the me- uh, best investments I've ever made because my recovery is so much better. I'm in so much better shape and my body just feels good. Like before, even though I'm a heavyweight, I can eat whatever I want. I can eat frigging pizza every day if I want. Yeah, but your body just doesn't react the same. The, yeah. it's, I'm really lucky because the smaller weights, like they have to be so, so strict with the with the weight cuts. Cutting, Bro- yeah. broccoli, yeah. rice, chicken. I've seen cousin. the video All of them shit. in like baths. Yeah, it's yeah. wild, man. It's wild. I don't know. I don't know how I really... It's easy for me to say, oh, I don't agree with weight cutting because I don't have to weight cut, but yeah. I've seen some funky situations over the years with weight cutting. It's just like the, the gaps in between weights are usually like six, seven kilos. And I think... Can you not beat someone who's seven kilos heavier than you? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, is, it doesn't it sound like that? much, but it is a lot, though, isn't it? it is in fighting, it, yeah. like, yeah, mate, you come in when they do the weight cutting and they come out and you see they've drained. They well, their face, like, there's people where their face is just like it's they look like they have horrible. They look like a zombie. I've seen people collapse at uh, cutting weight and everything. Like, it's so they collapse, mm. mate, and then go and have a cage fight the what, day after. What is it they Wild. do just before they're jumping on the scales? Like stuff to do with saunas and suits on and the saunas and stuff. Yeah, all kinds, of, right? all kinds of different. So the whole sauna thing, that's kind of like dying off a bit because that's proved to be like pretty dangerous now. A lot of people like nearly dying in them and stuff. Um, people are doing like more like baths and just training with loads of clothes on. And a lot of time they'll do like a little workout and then they'll just lie down with towels on them and stuff and just sweat it out. But it's a, it's a long process. It's a, like a lot of them, they'll stop eating and drinking on like, say they weigh in on the Friday morning, they'll stop eating and drinking on like, 
the Thursday, the Wednesday night, they'll just do nothing. Wow. And just literally just starve themselves. Yeah. yeah. So of water as well. Oh, I mate, the water I, from, from like what I know, which isn't much, uh, the water's worse apparently than, yeah. than the food. No, and yeah. It, yeah, it, yeah it's, just, it's just before the fight as well. You want to feel the best you can possibly feel it, and then you got to go and do that. Yeah. Uh, it's still a fair bit before though. You know, it's still like 30, 30 odd hours before. So yeah. quite a lot. Like I think they can. Bring it can back. recover back in that time. I think, like, you must feel amazing though. You're like on death's door oh. on a Friday, and then when you that come back to sip of water. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. The second day off the scale, the water yeah. bottle comes out from the trainer and just going for yeah. it. Yeah, big time. 